they go into the production area and they can see the chocolate production, the licorice production, and they get told all the facts about licorice and chocolate. And by the way, it's really, really good for you. And, and then at the end of the tour, they can play vertical licorice bowling where you can do nowhere else in the world. Vertical licorice bowling is where you get a ball of licorice and you throw it up the old bag chute. When it comes down, it knocks down the, the pins. You get a point for each pin you knock down and a point, extra point for each pin you catch as it's coming up. So it requires very little skill and a lot of luck. <laughs> okay, making licorice, you add the ingredients and there's you know, things like molasses, the licorice root powder, flour and, and water, a little bit of aniseed. All those things go in, they get mixed up, they go through a long cylinder which is a cooker, it's called the votator and then after it's, it's cooked it goes into the extruder, it's compressed and pushed out into ropes of licorice, goes down a cooling tunnel which is 16 metres long and then gets cut to length by guillotine. After that it gets packed. So that's the process, you'll be able to do that in your kitchen now. We do tours, we do free tasting, but on top of that we've got a coffee shop where you can taste some beautiful um, organic coffee. Then after that you can step up to the, the restaurant, which is in the rustic setting, and we, you know, we have the local produce, you know, different meats, different vegetables and fruits from the local area. We would love you to come and visit us because we have a great venue, we have great food, and we have fantastic people waiting to look after you.